What's going on everyone? Today I got something a little different for you. It's gonna be a quick, easy, simple video. Um, so I have a garage, it's a two car garage, but I don't have a lot of space inside the garage. So um, what I did with my workbench was I made it a folding workbench. And what's pretty cool about it is that if you look at it right now, it's in its up position. So I got like my lawnmower, vacuum, oil, all that stuff underneath it, and it's out of the way. So I'm able to get the bike in plus uh, her car and I got my Roby light up top that actually works really well and when I need to work on it or use it all I gotta do is just unfold it like so just like that yeah steady workbench so this is what you're gonna need to build your bench uh, you could do a little bit different and there's a lot of variants but this is how I did mine bought a 2x4 and I put it across the bottom Make sure to screw into where the studs are. Now you see tape joint, that's where a stud is. And then I went ahead and I took two pieces of two by four or plywood, which is half an inch each, so an inch. And I went out and I just bought these gate hinges at Home Depot, I bought three of them. And what you do is you flip the hinge so that the hinge part is sticking out so the leg can swing outwards. And when you open this up, this turns into a hard 90, which therefore it gives a little bit more strength. And with the legs themselves, it took a two by four, put it on the flat, put it on the edge, got yourself a nice leg. And the same thing as well, just another gate post with the hinge facing outwards. And to make sure that this doesn't fall down when you pull on it or not pulling on it, again, a gate. When that's, I got myself a little gate latch that just holds it in place. Screw that to the wall two by four, make sure it all lined up. And then and that's how you do it. Now you have a folding stowaway workbench when you don't need it. And when you do need it, it's right there. <laughs> 